Hi there, this is Sarah Bailey, and today I want to talk to you about a couple cool search methods for you in DS Domination if you are in the Pro Members area. Okay, so if you're part of Pro and you know how to search from Amazon and Overstock over to eBay, I want to show you a couple new things, okay? And one of them is a website that you can go to that will tell you what's being sold and what's being most watched over on eBay and it's called watchcount.com okay so go to watchcount.com and make sure you bookmark that or just write that down so you remember but you can type in keywords right here in the top you, you have all these categories you can go to on the left of whatever categories you want to look at and so I typed in here outdoor deck storage because right now it's fall and I'm thinking people are going to want to store some things, okay? They've had their summer, they've had their outdoor enjoyment, and they're going to want to be able to store things. So I typed in outdoor deck storage, and this is what I got. It will tell you the number of people watching a particular product and how many sales they're getting from this particular seller, okay? And there are a bunch of different sellers on here. So look at this one, 115 watchers, 88 sales. So you could click on any of these and then you could look at those sellers, other items and do the spider method just like you learned in Pro, okay? So here's one, we look at this one. I'm gonna, you could pick any patio deck box that you want to. So here I'm gonna look at this one. This person, this seller has sold, I've gotten over 95,000 feedback and that is pretty awesome, okay? So here you can look at this. They've already sold 49. You can see how many or what the prices were that they sold it for. Okay, basically 69.90. And you'll see sometimes that they'll, they'll change prices. They've started at one price and then ended up going to another price. Okay, we could go back here. We could pick another one. Okay. And then let's just say you go over, you, and what we're doing is we're not trying to find um, an exact item to list. We're just looking to get an idea of what else is out there, what's being watched a lot, what's being sold a lot, and then we can go out and find something similar to that. So now we can just take this, we can just go over to Amazon and type in deck box, patio deck box, patio box, you know, outdoor storage, okay? So what I did is I went over to Amazon and I typed in the search bar outdoor deck storage and I got a whole bunch of items that I could look at. Here's one in particular that I picked out. So this is a Suncast, it gives the model number. Now remember, when you go to eBay and you do your own listing, DS Domination teaches you with the title building tool, okay? That's the tool that you find under, if you go to the blue tab in the back office and click on tools and then you click on legacy tools that's where you're going to find the title builder okay so with that you will learn that the inexperienced sellers will put the model number right in their title it's not a good thing to do because then you're going to be stacked up against all these other people who are listing the same item with the same model number and they might just go for the lowest price you want to think like a buyer would think and what are the first three or four words a buyer would choose if they want to land on a product like this one okay they're not going to type suncast in the model number no they could type in suncast deck box but we usually don't like to put the model or the brand name in the title unless it's something that's so super well known that people are actively searching for it. So you might want to find outdoor deck storage, but let's take a look at this. We take the title, okay? We don't even need the wheels part. You copy it, you go over to eBay, and I'm gonna to go to eBay, and I put in that same thing in the search bar. I guess you could put it with wheels, with or without wheels. And I ended up with this. Look, $93, $96, $101. And where did we start? We started at $79, so do you think that there's a profit somewhere to be made here? This one's only 10, but that's an auction item, so we don't count that, $109. So this one looks the same. It might um, just be an alternate picture of the same thing, okay? But $110, so yes, you could find something in here and you could list it for a profit, okay? So, and each one of these, you could open up each one of these sellers, see what else they're selling and what they've been selling successfully. So you have like, hundreds of products right from this search right here that you could use. Okay, let's do another one. Go back over to watchcount.com. 
I was just recently searching on fire pit. You know what? Let's just use the same thing again. Fire pit. And look what we have. This first one, 6,000 watchers. Do you think they're making sales? Of course they are because they sold it over 3,200 times. Okay, here's another one. Over 2,000 watchers, 655 sales. And it just goes on and on and you could research any of these. But again, we're just looking for a general idea of something that we could use to go from, okay? We just wanna get a basic idea. Let's take this one. Okay, so on eBay, sold 191 times for this price, and I wonder what it might be. It may not be from Amazon. It's probably from something else since it's factory direct sale. They probably found another wholesaler that's listing it. But let's go over to overstock.com and type in fire pit there and see what we get. So that's what I did. Went over to overstock in the search bar, type in fire pit. and you get a whole bunch of things that you could list. And you just wanna scroll through here and see what the different prices are and see what you can find over at eBay. So you have an option. You could take any of these items and create a new listing for them on eBay. You could just create your own listing from scratch and kind of guess, think about a reasonable price. How much would you be willing to pay for that item? And you could create a listing for that. Some of this is just trial and error, like what kind of price do you pick? Well, think about what it'd be worth it to you. You don't want to gouge your, your buyers, you know, you, you want to be fair about the way you're doing it, but you still want to be able to make a profit too. So something like this, you could probably sell for $289, um, and then you take out the 15% the fees and you're still left with a profit. You could take any of these and and grab the title and take that over to eBay as well and see what they're getting. So let's take this one. Okay, the Corvus Vintage Brushed Bronze. I've not done the search on eBay yet, so I don't know if it's gonna show up there, but we'll take a look, okay? Keep in mind, when you do your eBay listing, you'd wanna start with Outdoor Fire Pit to create your listing, to create your title, because most people on eBay are not gonna type in the words Corvus Vintage Brushed, brushed Bronze for their first three or four keywords, are they? No, they likely won't do that. You'll get paired up against weaker sellers to create a better title, always put your top three or four words, the main keywords that you want to use, put those in the very front part of your title. That's what's most important. That's what eBay is looking for okay, in the searches. So we're going to take this to eBay and see what we get. And look at that. <laughs> well, Overstock's item is going to be there because they're a seller. On overstock this person listed at 286 there's not going to be much of a profit there but um, we know that with overstock there's a 5% cash back when you use them and if you go through a cashback site that we train on with the elite training then you could use that portal and get like a 5% cash back from using the portal and then another 5% cash back from overstock and you could make a nice profit on that okay so 206 207 203 you could research any of these sellers as well Okay, so that's, that's one method is using watchcount.com. And let's see what else I was looking at. Oh, a couple of other fire pits. Okay. All right. Well, you can use watchcount.com watch and type in the keywords that you're looking for and then research them over on eBay and also on Amazon and Overstock. Okay. The other thing I want to show you is a pretty cool method. In this situation, you're going to start with Amazon, okay? Here I'm thinking, today I was cleaning out my office, so I thought, okay, office organization. <laughs> so I typed in Amazon office organization and I got lots of items and lots of the office organization things I found were like $10 or $12 and you're not gonna make much of a profit on those items. So I wanted to go a little bit higher in finding items at least like 35 or $45, okay? So I found this one on Amazon. It's this 12 slot organizer. It's listed for $41.53. So what I did is I grabbed the title because nobody in eBay is really gonna be typing <laughs> the dimensions 
in a title. Okay, when they're doing an eBay search for what they're looking for in an organizer, they're not going to type in those. And they even have a mis a mistype. Look, they have two quotation marks when there should only be one. Okay, so you go over to eBay. And this is what I did. I took the listing over to eBay, typed it in the search bar, the Rubbermaid 12 slot organizer. And look, $57, $54. $63. I don't know what this is. It might be the same thing. It's just that it's, that must be how it shipped before putting it back together. But it's a horrible picture, so you won't want to use that. But anyway, these people are making a profit on this item because look, it was listed on Amazon as $41. And now you're getting listings for $54, $57. Okay, so you can take any of these sellers and research any of them. Okay, so here's one. This one was already sold. I can see the original listing. I can take notes from what they did. Look, they did a good thing by making their title a larger font and they centered it and they bolded it and then they put in features. But you wanna make sure when you're copying something from Amazon or Overstock, wherever you're getting it from, you don't wanna copy the features exactly you don't want to type in the description exactly because eBay will end up putting you further down in the listing or they really just don't want you copying exactly let's see what Amazon did so Amazon features versatile organizer features and in 10 removable black shelves removable shelves organizer let's see what happens uh, look they use the exact the same thing as eBay or as Amazon okay you don't want to do that all right, but their title isn't too bad. But keep in mind, when you do your titles, you don't want to put a hyphen in there. They put 12 hyphen slot. You don't want to do that. And somebody may or may not be searching for black, but they did some good keywords in here in their title with organizer. They used paper, office, craft, school, dorm, scrapbooking, hobby, work. Remember your eBay title, you don't want it. It doesn't have to make sense, but you want it to be loaded with keywords. And you want to make sure your first three to four keywords in your title, your, your first three to four words in your title are the main keywords that you want to use. And you want to use those same keywords as you create your images. When you name your images, you want to name them those keywords as well. All right, let me see what else I want to do. Um, okay. I went over to over. What did I do over at Overstock? Oh, at Overstock, I went to the main page uh, let me go there again you can get lots of ideas just from the front page okay you have all these categories you can look in I looked at where they said just a few things we think you love I grabbed one of these now the one I grabbed is not showing up right now but I'll take a look at this okay floating shelves the one I looked at earlier was this one this corner wall mount shelf and you had to add it to your cart to see what the price was. So let's just do that. Oh wait, I only want one because I did this earlier. So 3310. Now if we take the title and we go over to eBay, you can see it's listed here. Here, I'll, I'll show you. I put in the same title that Overstock had, laminated veneer corner wall mount shelf. And remember over here it's 3310. And over on eBay, $44, $39, $49, but that's a different color. $57, that looks like the same one. See this picture on the side right here? Okay, they're using the same image. All these people are getting their images from Overstock. And you can use the title builder in the back office at DS to come up with better keywords so that you're going to rank higher. Okay, and then for these people who are going for it, what you can do, I'll show you, is you can research each one of these sellers. And how are you going to do that in an easy way? So let me do this. I'm not going to pick that one. I'll pick this one. I'm going to open the link in a new tab. Okay. And what other ones do I like? $57. I like that one. So I'm going to right click on it, open link in a new tab. And what else? I like this one open link in a new tab. So I'm going to be able to research all of these sellers. This one I don't think is, eh, I don't know, did I get another one? 
Okay. Okay, so six dollars is probably the fees. So forty-two. Let's see, it'd be forty-one. Oh yeah, still a nine dollar profit. That's pretty good. Plus five percent cash back on overstocks. So I can open this link in a new tab. So now I have all of these. I'm clicking at the top. I can find all of these. Look, they sold three at forty-four ninety-nine. This seller has sold a hundred or has one hundred and fifty-five feedback. I can go to this one. Fifty-seven dollars. Okay, that looks like they haven't sold any yet. Um, but they have a 420 feedback. This one, $63. It's probably a, a new listing, but look, this seller, 1,430 items. So do you think that if you look at the seller's other items, you're gonna find things that you can list? Absolutely. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab it. You could list that item if you want, which would be great. But when you research other sellers and you're doing the spider method, one thing you wanna do is make sure you click on um, sold listings because you want to know what they've been able to sell successfully so far and they're only showing us 10 right now but a mattress pad we could research this um, phones we don't really get into electronics Here, there's that item we were just looking at and you could go through and now remember when you're researching other people I'm gonna grab another seller when you're researching other people if you're gonna take some of their listings or copy some of their listings only take three or four of their listings you, you want to play fair and, and give everybody a chance to have sales so don't go in and take like 20 of a seller's items so you could go in here and you could research this seller and just take some of the, you know take some of their listings as well you see other listings and now you're starting the spider method method again and I'm gonna look on sold listings that's all I really care about right now 178 items so can you find something here probably if it has a white background it's probably Amazon um, and it may or may not be but when you're in pro you're really gonna stick to just Amazon and all the stocks okay so I hope this information has been helpful I'm gonna stop here for this video but I hope I gave you some some good tips with these two different methods that you could use to find items on Amazon and Overstock and by using the watch count tool. Oh, um, one other thing you could use when you're calculating, if you're using the, the first method that we were taught on DS domination for creating your own listings, is that if you're doing it yourself and you're not using the build a listing tool, if you're doing it all manually, you might want to use this and let me see if I can get the right uh, site for it. It's final, yeah, finalfeedcalculator.com. And in this thing, it will calculate the estimated eBay and PayPal fees. So you'll know whether or not an item is worth it to buy. Okay. So you're going to put in there the price that you want to sell the item at on eBay. And then shipping should probably be zero because most people are doing free shipping. It's better to list an item at a higher price and make it free shipping than to get it at a lower price and include shipping. People love to see where it says free shipping. All right, so top rated sellers get a discount and eBay stores, there's an adjustment for that. So just um, fill out that information and you can quickly at a glance see if you're going to make some money on that product. So again, I'm going to sign off for now. I will see you on the next video. Have a super fantastic, awesome, awesome day.